Hi everyone, let me ask you something. When you stream your favorite Netflix show, order food online, or charge your phone, do you ever wonder what the invisible carbon number behind that activity is? That invisible number is called an emission factor. And it is the holy grail of data quality in climate action. Because if we get emission factors wrong, every carbon footprint, every net zero plan, every climate pledge becomes shaky. In simple words, an emission factor tells us how much greenhouse gas is released per unit of activity. For example, one liter of diesel burn is equal to 2.68 kg of carbon dioxide emitted. One kilowatt hour of electricity in India is equal to 0.7 kg of carbon dioxide and of course it varies by region. One kg of beef you eat is equal to 27 to 60 kg of carbon dioxide equivalent. So behind every lifestyle choice we make, whether it's food, travel or business operations, there's a number shaping the climate story. Scientists calculate these factors by using these three broad approach. The first is the mass balance approach, which is chemistry based. If a fuel has 80% carbon, you can calculate how much carbon dioxide will come out when burned. For example, a cement kiln burning coal can be estimated based purely on fuel composition. The second method is statistical or empirical method, which is based on actual measurement. For example, testing exhaust emissions from hundreds of trucks in Delhi. And you can calculate an emission factor per kilometer driven from there. The third is the tiered approach, which aligns with the Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change, IPCC guidelines. Now, tier one emission factors are global averages. They are easy and least accurate to calculate. Tier 2 emission factors are country specific values like India's Central Electricity Authority grid factor for electricity. The tier 3 are facility level measurement emission factors and are the gold standard. A data center measuring its diesel genset emission directly is the tier 3 accuracy of emission factors we are talking about. The higher the tier, the better your data quality. Emission factors are stored in databases like IPCC Emission Factor Database, US EPA Database, DEFRA UK Database, India Central Electricity Authority CEA for Grid Factor Database. Different emission factors apply across the three scopes. For example, the scope one, which is our the method to calculate direct emissions example can be an airline burning aviation fuel can calculate emission factors for jet kerosene kerosene scope 2 uh, will have indirect emission for example an it company running servers can refer to grid emission factor for electricity scope 3 which is your value chain emissions um, the example can be an e-commerce company can refer to emission factors for packaging, shipping, customer return to calculate their emission footprint or carbon dioxide footprint. A restaurant can refer to emission factors for food ingredients, delivery, bikes, customer waste for calculating the carbon footprint. Scope 3 for most of the companies account for 70 to 90 percent of the carbon dioxide emissions. Now emission factors for businesses are different between a credible carbon footprint versus greenwashing, investor trust versus reputational risk, accurate decarbonization strategy versus hollow targets. Emission factors are not just numbers, they are the currency of carbon accounting. Technology also adds up to the exciting part of emission factors calculation. For example, IoT sensors can calculate real-time facility data, which is your tier 3 quality emission factors. AI and ML can refine global factors with local data. Blockchain can ensure supply chain transparency. 
APIs can be embed can embed emission factors into ERP, travel booking, freight platform. Imagine booking a flight on an app and it tells you the exact carbon dioxide equivalent of your seat based on emission factors. Or an e-commerce checkout showing your delivery's carbon footprint in real time. That's the future of emission factors at your fingertips. So here's the truth. Emission factors may sound like dry numbers, but they are actually the bridge between the daily choices and the planet's future. When I look at them, I don't just see maths. I see whether our children will breathe cleaner air, whether businesses can truly decarbonize, and whether our climate commitments are built on data we can trust. For businesses, accurate emission factors are the backbone of credibility. For us, as individuals, they are the hidden climate price tag of our lifestyle choices. If this video opened your eyes, please like, share and subscribe to my channel, Simplifying Sustainability with Shruti. Because the more we understand emission factors, the better we can shape a future that's honest, transparent and sustainable. Keep watching. Thank you.